Hi everyone, my name is Marcus Lim. I'm one of the education reps for Tapestry Music. And today, we're going to put a clarinet together. We're going to put the reed to the mouthpiece. We're going to assemble the clarinet. And then we're going to learn five new notes for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do is put the reed on to the mouthpiece. This is a package of a reed. I'm going to crack it open. Most of these will come in a plastic cover. It's to protect it. If you've got access to a tap, you can run this reed underneath it and just get it a little bit wet. If you don't have access to a tap, you can always put it in your mouth. Like that. This is going to be a flat side and an edge side. And we're going to start with the mouthpiece. So that's our mouthpiece there. We've got a flat side on there. I'm going to put the flat side to the flat side. Just like that. And we're going to try and line the tip of the mouthpiece to the tip of the reed. And we're going to very gently slide it over. and snugly tighten the screws. Like that. Some teachers would prefer you to do it this way, which is also acceptable, where you would have the fat side of the ligature going in first and gently slide the reed in. So you'd do the same thing, loosen the screws, and gently slide it through. Either way works. Check with your teacher. So once your mouthpiece is assembled, we can try and make some music out of it. Curl our bottom lips, and we're going to bite the top of the mouthpiece, maybe about halfway there. And we put it in, which should sound something like this. If you're finding that you're having troubles getting music out of it, take a larger breath into your tummy. Try it again. Now that we have the mouthpiece assembled, we can put the rest of the instrument together. There's a few parts to the instrument. The bell. The lower joint. The upper joint. The barrel. And the mouthpiece that we've just assembled. Fortunately, these parts are not interchangeable, so they all go into one direction. We're going to add a little bit of cork grease onto all of the corks to make it easier for us to put the instrument together. So we'll start with the bell and just stick it there. And then we're going to take our lower joint, add a little bit of cork grease to it. Just like that. I'm going to rub it in gently. And then, while holding the keys down, I'm going to slowly put it together. Like that. There's two pieces right there. You can do the same thing for this joint. Same idea, we're going to try and close the keys and have this key open up. And for clarinets, it's very important that this key goes on top of this one here. So gently and then slowly twist it into place. Take the mouthpiece that we just put together, add a little bit of cork grease, and they should only fit on one side. 
And then, you can fully assemble, like so. So now we have a fully assembled clarinet. Let's figure out how to hold it. Let's take our right hand, take our thumb, and gently hold it with the thumb rest. And with our left hand, take the thumb, cover the thumb hole, and your fingers will rest over the keys. You don't even need to cover the, anything else after that. Now that you've done this, we can curl our bottom lip. We can gently bite the top of the mouthpiece with our top teeth, take a breath into our tummy, and then we'll play it. So the first note we're going to learn is G. And conveniently, you don't actually have to press anything on this instrument. You simply need to hold it, like so. You don't need to even cover any of the holes, just to keep it balanced in your hand. And take a breath. And blow. Second note we're going to learn is an F, and that one we play it with our left thumb, covering the left thumb hole. So when we put it together and we try and hold the instrument, you're going to balance it with your right hand. Don't need to cover any of the keys. Take our left thumb and shut the thumb hole. The next note up is E. This one we need to cover both the thumb hole and the first hole in the front with our left hand. So trying to hold the instrument, balance it again, right, left hand thumb, first finger on the first hole. Make sure you cover it completely. You don't want to have any air coming out of the, of the opening because then you'll squeak. So it should be totally shut. And have a small curl to your fingers. fourth note we've got up is a D. A lot like how we played F and E, we're going to just add one more finger to the next hole. Again, you want to make sure that you're totally covering the opening. Hold it with your right thumb, let it balance, have a small curl to your fingers, and let's try it. The last note we're going to learn today is a C. So just like how we played F, E, and D, we're going to also use the thumb, first finger, second finger, and our ring finger is going to cover this hole here. Again, we're going to try and have a small curl to your hands. You're going to balance it with your right hand. And she sounds something like this. Congratulations! You are now a professional clarinetist. You can rent your clarinet at tapestrymusic.com.